Guys, I fucking hit the wrong button, so I'm recording a second vlog, I guess. But, uh, playing with this fire extinguisher far into my my work. My boss said nobody knows I'm out here besides one person who just happened to see me as I was walking out here. It's a big old puff of smoke, pretty much. Oh shit, it's almost empty already. That's how fast that goes through? Really? And it's empty. Hopefully, it's for sure, for sure empty, because I don't want to. That, my friends, was a fire extinguisher. I don't think it's gonna start any fires back here. That's a police helicopter right there. Just completely fine with it. Alright, so evidently the camera's still recording. I thought it hit pause. But yeah, there's a helicopter. If you can hear it, it's over that way. It's flying really low. And it's actually because it's a police helicopter. They do those things where they have like thermal imaging cameras. And they fly over fields and they take photos uh, to ensure that like farmers don't grow pot on the end of their fields and mixed in with other plants and stuff like that. And stupid shit pretty much. It's like that's what they waste their time doing. They literally fly around all fucking day just to try to hopefully find somebody that's growing weed somewhere. And they go in there, and they rip the plants out, and then they take whoever was responsible, like whoever's property it was, and then they get charged for it, whether they knew about it or not. So that's what the bullshit part about it is. Here it comes again. Because it's like these people don't even half the time know about it. It's just a farmer, and he's got fucking, I don't know if you can see them way back there they're like in between some trees right now but uh they uh the, you know these are farmers that literally just have big ass fields and there's kids who, like go in and plant marijuana in their field and then the farmer gets charged with growing plants because the police evidently feel like you're supposed to be completely aware of your own property and then Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. It's stupid. I don't agree with it, but at the same time, uh, I don't really have a say in it. So, yeah, you know. But I got an empty empty tank. That was pretty cool, actually, playing with that. If my first time ever spraying a fire extinguisher. Been in some fires, but never had the ability to be the one that got to play fireman. And, uh... It's pretty cool how it came out, but it just sucks because the gauge now kind of says there's still pressure in the tank, and I really, 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 really need the tank to be completely empty because I have some shit I want to do with my forge, and I need the container. <laughs> it takes, it takes, to, I mean, hit the tank, and it made a lot of noise, but uh. I, uh, I want to melt some metal down. God damn, I fucking, I had my windows up because I had my air conditioner on. And like I said, before I got out, the fucking, the one window was down. So all the air that I was trying to pump into my car to possibly, um, alleviate some of the heat. I vented out all of my 
air. But uh, the thing says it's got zero PSI. Um, so I guess tonight I'll have to try to take this guy apart. Hopefully it really is completely out of air. And uh, see if I can't possibly... Well, I might actually be able to just nervous about hitting that button and having a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit being left inside of it and then having it go and spraying in my car and filling me full of white, nasty smoke, which would not be good. But it should be fine, hopefully. Maybe, maybe I should wait till I get home, but I'm impatient. Oh, I also forgot, if you guys don't know, if you've never heard of it, my hometown of Wadsworth, Ohio, made blue tip matches back in the day. And blue tip matches are waterproof matches. And uh, you can, uh, they were built around... World War II, I mean, they were made before that, but they were given to soldiers in World War II because, like I said, you could light them even when they're wet, and, uh, um, this thing's being a bitch, won't come off. I don't know how that pin comes out. I thought maybe it would just slide right through, but it's being a bitch. It's not coming through, so I don't know what to do. I'm new, and I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, so my town made this thing, and it's called Blue Tip Matches, and they were meant for the military because they're waterproof, and yada, yada, yada. And now every year... We have a, oh, that's good, it's just kind of raining out of the thing now. We have a parade, we call the Blue Tip Festival, and they bring in a huge carnival, and we have a huge parade, which is today, and uh, so yeah, we just have a parade, and then, like I said, we have a carnival that lasts for a week, so there'll be fair food and rides and all kinds of shit there. Uh, I'll vlog it all for you, so you'll get to see it tonight. I'm is like I said, tonight's the actual car. Or, well, tonight is technically the start of the carnival, but tonight is the parade, and I haven't gone to a blue tip festival parade in seven years, probably. Yeah, I just like throw out candy, and there's all kinds of truck fire trucks and shit so you know it's like a legitimate parade it's really long too it takes about an hour and a half two hours uh probably be having some drinks i am going to hopefully have time to go home get everything off the gopro if it will allow me to get everything off the gopro and then uh record the parade on the gopro so then the video will be up some other time. Uh, but. So that's the agenda for tonight. I'm hoping I might have enough time to go home and work on this thing a little bit if, if I can. But the majority of it is probably going to be spent on the parade. I don't think I'm going to the festival tonight. Just because it's going to be packed, because obviously everybody goes the night that it opens pretty much. It's going to be a week long, so it's not to say that I can't wait a couple days and then go. I think it ends on Sunday. It's like five days, something like that. But uh, So we have that tonight. And yeah, so I'm going to go, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you did a like, it would be much appreciated. Me getting to play Fireman, doing cool stuff. Um, I will do a Toothless Tuesday, I promise, and I will, I'm going to do another video because I had some denture-related talks that I wanted to talk about, but I kind of forgot to do as I was 
playing with that thing. So we'll have to deal with that tomorrow or later tonight. And if you're new, you should subscribe to keep up with awesome daily content like this. It's not normally that I get to play Fireman, but sometimes I get to do cool stuff. Third, if you're already a part of this channel, you should subscribe. I mean, boo, brains like dead. Um, you should share the video and show other people what it's like for me to play firefighter. Good old firefighting skills. Until tomorrow, actually, but technically I'll see you guys tonight for Toothless Tuesday and the rest of it, but technically I'll either see you tomorrow or you'll see me tonight. Regardless, I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed and bye. I lied. I'm not leaving. Now I am. Bye.